Welcome back to another episode of Chai Chats with Himmel. I believe that is what we are calling it, but I suppose the most important part of this is that you make sure that you do have a beverage, preferably a tea of some sorts, hence Chai Chats. Unless you want to change the name, you can let me know in the comment section. But essentially, we're just going to be sitting here and talking about just random things. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about high school, like what life is really like after high school. And I'll be speaking about it through the lens of judgment, success, and responsibility. I feel like I'd, when I initially planned this, I was going to be like, you know what, I'm just going to press play on the camera. But I feel like, well, and I did do that and I did it last night and it, I just rambled on about a whole bunch of random things. And I felt like it was just a little bit too much all over the place. So I've just written down three words. Um, like judgment, success, and responsibility. I'm just gonna to talk to those three things when we go throughout this video. So let's get on with it. All right, judgment. Um, in terms of what life is like after high school, in terms of judgment, I feel like there is, there is less judgment when you leave high school because from my experience, when I was in high school, you are very, you like, once you kind of belong to like a particular ar archetype or like a specific set of like personality, for example, you had people that would like, you know, the people that, all the, all the people that play sport, I, think, I don't know if you like, people call the hot shots, you'd have like the nerds, you'd have like, I don't know, the, like the kind of music bunch, right? Like you, I don't know what you call them nowadays, but like you have those different groups of people um, in high school. And I feel like if you tried to stray away from those things when you were in high school, from like your thing, then you weren't, you were kind of like outed out. Like you were kind of like, you were kind of made an outcast and you were like judged a lot. Like I remember I wanted to, I think I had like inclinations to start a YouTube channel from the time I was in, I think year eight or year nine. And I remember a good friend of mine who I'm still really good and close friends with today. He started a YouTube channel when he was in high school and then he got a lot of flack from other people in our year level and people in year levels above us. And it was like, well, that's not encouraging, is it? And so you weren't encouraged to do things that were different, that were outside of what you, um, that you were supposed to do. And I feel like if you want to kind of bring even like cultures into it, like being a first gen migrant and having like a lot of other friends that were first gen migrants, I feel like it was almost like there was a pressure for us to, um, to kind of like conform to what our parents wanted. Um, and then we would also receive judgment from our parents and like our extended family that if we didn't, you know, get good grades, if we didn't, um, you know, prioritize our studies, if we didn't like have a tutor, right? If we didn't do these things, then we were, we weren't seen as good enough almost in a sense, which was, which is kind of weird in a way. And so on that note, it's like, well, as if you want to kind of talk about like judgment being less now outside of high school it's like now you've now you kind of like outside of those those bands those those rings of constraint and you can kind of like almost be like an uncaged bird um that you've finally just been like set free and you can fly and do whatever it is that you want to do and i think i've i've found that now being what it's 2021 so i finished high school when i was in 2015 and it's been, well, damn, it's been, it's been six years. Wow, wow, look at that. I feel like, I don't even know if I can really speak about high school now and whether or not my high school experience is relevant to those people that are watching, that are in high school right now. I don't know, I'd, I'd assume not much has changed. Would you even count the last two years? Does that even count? Anyway, um, like on the lens of judgment outside of high school, I feel like, I feel like, like, like it, it's, it's a lot less. Like you've, like even as I'm, as, I think as we get older, you more often than not, you end up being more comfortable and more confident within your own self because you naturally know more about yourself. And so you aren't pulling around a lot of insecurities that you kind of covered up when you were in high school. And now you've they've either been brought to the surface and you're battling with them now, or you've overcome them, or you might be in a phase where you still haven't haven't discovered them yet, which is which is different and probably something that we should talk about in another video. But like like now I'm doing so many different things that I never thought I would, and no one's really judging me or the judgment that I thought I would have gotten has actually been uh, a lot of encouragement from people that I believe would have very well have judged me if I started doing or doing all these different things when I was in high school. And so kind of on that note, I suppose a lesson here 
for anyone that is in high school that is watching this is that like I know it's hard but don't care what other people think of you um, and it, it's hard because I know like like in, if you look at Maslow's hierarchy of needs like a sense of belonging is necessary and to like belong to a group is really important because that brings you a lot of motivation and that brings you happiness and that brings you connection right and like having a group of friends it's like that's like a really big deal you know being connected with them and if you were to stray outside of it you might get at it and it like and to be honest that could be a possibility but like for, for, for you now watching this as well, if you if you see anyone else trying to step outside of what would be the norm of that group or um, do something different as long as it wasn't gonna harm themselves or other people, then like I'd, I'd ask you to encourage that. And I think when you encourage that, then that'd create a culture within your school or within your set of friends that encourages you guys to kind of step outside of your comfort zone and do things differently and like, not live in shame or like behind a um behind a mask of um of like insecurity and potential judgment so you can so you pretend to be something that you're not essentially or like you just don't unleash you know whatever is inside of you and like i feel like you know the, the world needs to see that so second part of this success this is a this is an interesting one um like I was part of a group when um, in high school where we we were first year migrants. Most of us were first year migrants, and I think the fact that our parents moved from another country and they came to Australia, like given that they were moving from, like they were literally moving for opportunity, and my parents specifically for safety as well. It's like all right now, like like yo, we 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 move you to another country, um, and like you were born here. That's kind of like our job done now, and like. Now, now it's like this is this is now you now you literally got to make the most of the situation, study hard, take up opportunities, do extremely well, go into like a really amazing profession where you earn a lot of money and gain a lot of respect, respect in the community, um, and then, bam, that's it. Like that is that is the ideal uh, first gen migrant um, mentality. I feel like that's what it's been for a while, and certainly what it, what was my experience. I don't know. Maybe your experience might be different, but. Like I feel like that that was that was deemed a success when we, when I was in high school, and so a lot of emphasis was placed on my marks. Like, thankfully, it was subjects that I enjoyed. Like, I, I loved maths. I I think I think I loved science to some extent as well. And so these subjects I put a lot of effort in, and to be honest, I enjoyed it. But for a lot of people, they didn't, and. Um, and like they were kind of forced to do things that they didn't want to do and study things that they didn't want to do um, And as a result you can kind of get you can feel really locked up and even further caged Within that within that system and like to be honest, it's not even your fault Like it's like I remember when I was in high school We'd hear this phrase over and over again like your ATAR doesn't define you and like it doesn't right but is it important? Yes, it is because it pretty much grants you entry into a specific course of your choice if you're choosing to go to university. And so like, it's 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 important, yes. And there was so much emphasis played on it. Um, and you and you thought like, you know, once, once you got the number, then like, like that's it. Like you're set for life. And the reality is you're not. Because once you get out into the real world, then it's like, man, you're you're competing with and you're you are literally in the same kind of tutor group, um, year level or cohort as everyone else that got similar ATARs to you. And you're like, man, was was I like, are you really anything special? Maybe I'm speaking from my own experience here, but it was like, um, which I am, of course, but like it's not the end of the world, like if you don't get the ATAR that that you want. Um, because there's obviously heaps of different ways you can go about it. Some might be more costly than others in both time and money. But essentially it's about like afterwards in high school, depending on what course you go into, it could be about grades. Um but for me personally, I think it ends up being about now like how comfortable can you be within yourself? I think that's a great measure of success. Um, yes, there's the whole, you know, climbing the corporate ladder or climbing whatever ladder and whatever company that you're working in um, or studying further, like doing your PhD and your master's, which is what a lot of people my age, um, my year level are doing now. And it's like, well, everyone is in so many different fields now. Like this, they're, they're doing, they're branching out here, there and everywhere. It's like, can you really, can you really compare anymore? And I think the answer to that is, no, you really can't unless 
you are literally almost in the same field. And then that too, it's like you have no idea about the person's background anymore. When you were in high school, you were surrounded by them pretty much all the time. And so you knew, like you probably even knew their parents, their siblings, you'd hang out with them. You see them five days a week for about 44 weeks of the year. And so you'd know this person in and out. And like, and, and just to be honest, to some extent, like, and I, tr and I truly firmly believe this. I only, re I remember listening to this when I was in high school and really only believing it now is that some of your friends, well, most of your friends are really only your friends because they're just surrounded by you a lot when you're in high school. And when you leave high school, you truly get to see who your real friends are. And I remember uh, before having a group of like 20 friends um, in high school, it kind of narrowed down to like three when I, when I left or not when I left, but like a couple of years after I left, like I only stayed in touch with really only three friends that I had in high school. And it's like, well, you know, there's there's also that thing there that happens in high school. Um, anyway, back to the point of like success. It's kind of up to the, it's kind of up to the individual now. Like it's, are you comfortable in your own skin? And um, are you really, are you kind of like happy where you are at your place in life? And I think a really important kind of way to navigate this, especially when you're in your twenties, is not too much, not really so much to compare yourself with other people in your field. Um, but compare yourself to how you were perhaps maybe last year um, or like a couple of months ago. I feel like that's a better, better, more accurate measure since everyone's doing all they do all these different things and you don't know what's going on in a person's life like behind the curtain. Um, so I think you can really only compare yourself to yourself, um, how you were in the past. And if you, if it's not like, if it's not good, then you know that you need to make some changes. And if it is great, then, then you know, you, you might need to give yourself a little bit more credit. Of course, still try to improve in what ways that you can, so you can, you know, live life and, you know, be the best version of yourself that whatever it is to you. Um, and so I think, I suppose like, in my opinion, life after high school, you're better off comparing yourself to who you were in the past compared to how you are right now. Um, anyway, that's kind of just what I want to say on that thing over there. And the last thing I want to mention is responsibility. This is a massive thing. And I feel like I almost missed this. Um, but responsibility changes massively when you leave high school. In high school, it's like almost everything's given to you. And when you leave, it's like, man, you kind of have to fend for yourself almost. This tea is getting cold-ish because I just end up talking for like way too long and forgetting to take breaks and take sips. But anyway, like when you're in high school, like people tell you when, you're, when your assignments are due, um, you know, what's, what chapters to study, um, when you have your next test, like people tell you all these things, you get reminded all the time and your friends remind you as well, right? But when, you, when, you, when you're in like university or you're in TAFE or you're in, or you're just like working in general, like it's like people aren't on your back anymore. It's like now everything is kind of up to you. And you're also in charge of things like your mental health, your well-being, your physical health, right? You don't have classes, like you don't have three or four classes in a week that literally force you to do physical exercise, right? You now have to kind of go about that yourself. And so I think like, this is just my take on the whole system. It's like, I feel like you've really got to take leadership and responsibility seriously when you leave high school because if you don't and i've seen it I, I, i've seen what happens because if you don't you can crumble to pieces and i've seen so many friends like downright just crumble because there is so much pressure to either perform to figure out and know what it is that you want to do in life and like it's, it's hard. Like you have, you're probably gonna have to deal with a breakup or two or three, right? You're gonna have to learn how to deal with these things and not have that infiltrate and take over the rest of your life as well. You're gonna have to learn how to compartmentalize like different areas of your life and then deal with them in a very specific manner. And I think for guys as well, like we have to kind of learn how to navigate our head and our heart spaces and, you know, do it in, in such an extent where like we could be really connected with people, um, but then also make, you know, really, really strong and rough decisions. Like it's like, that goes for anyone, right? Like it's, 
it's it's an interesting thing, and I, I really want to me- wanted to mention this because I feel like the, res- the sense of responsibility that I felt in high school is nowhere near what I feel now at the age of 23. And I think I'm assuming, and I have no doubt that that will only increase once you know I have a partner, I eventually get married, and have kids, and so on and so forth. Like responsibility after high school increases dramatically. Like when you get a job, like even like even to that extent, you should never shy away from it. Like it's something that's like. It means like, uh, like I've said this in a video before, right? Actually the video, I think right before this one, where like life, life doesn't throw you things that you cannot handle. Everything that you get in life is what you need to grow. And so if that is a little bit more responsibility, if it means that it's a problem, if it's a situation, right? If it means those things that it means that you need that at that point in time so that you can take yourself to the next level and grow and you know do the next thing that you have to do. Um, and one other thing that I wanted to mention as well, um, when you take responsibility, you actually end up having a lot of clarity. You kind of know like what's next. And I feel like one of the biggest problems that face, you know, people my age, like in their, in, in like young adults is not knowing what they want to do in life. And like, when you don't know what you want to do in life, it, I think it creates so many more problems. Um, because you are just literally confused. You, and the thing is, you don't necessarily have to know the destination. All you got to know is kind of like the direction that you need to go in. You don't need to know the destination. And I feel like if you can just kind of figure out the, di- the direction and that, and, I, and I think responsibility hints to the direction. Like I, that's what I'm trying to say, sorry. Like that's what I'm trying to like, get you to understand. Like it's like responsibility hints to the direction that you need to kind of head in. Um, and then you know what, sometimes you're gonna fail. Sometimes you're gonna stuff up. Like I failed heaps of times. There were so many jobs that I've, uh, that I've applied for that I didn't get. There were so many times where I got rejected by, by, by like women and I really liked it and I, and I wish I didn't. Um, or I wish you know, my, my life's circumstances um, and the family that I grew up in was different. Like we're gonna stuff up, we're gonna fail, we're gonna go through pain, we're gonna, we're gonna suffer. Um, and I think the only, the only way we, we navigate that effectively is that we take responsibility for the event, the situation, whether or not it was our fault. Maybe someone did us wrong. Maybe the world dealt us a bad hand. Like <laughs> these things may happen, but we've got to, we've kind of got to dig deep, find it within ourselves to take responsibility for the situation instead of blaming other people or blaming things that happen. Anyway, if you did enjoy the video, please make sure that you do like the video. Um, it helps me out and subscribe to the channel. If you liked this and you want to check out more videos, you can check out this video over there. Um, we're just chilling, just chilling and vibing. Have a good night, have a good day, have a good morning, a good evening, or wherever you are in the world, have a good whatever it is, and I will see you in the next video. I'll catch you later. Bye.